Mining after all the snow, rain and cold is hard to come by, but a local pastor is saying take that old man winter and he's doing it in the name of doing good. Jim Halbert, pastor of Crossroads Community Church in Nampa, wanted to add a little bit of humor to our crazy weather and help a nonprofit at the same time. So after running the idea by his wife, he created the Survivor of Snowpocalypse t-shirts and hoodies. Idea came to my mind, so I went ahead and sketched it out. And uh, it, it was just kind of fun. In fact, I showed it to her while we were watching TV, and she goes, ah, oh, that's cute. I went, yeah. So I threw it up on Facebook. Uh, I thought maybe a few people would get a giggle out of it. Um, it wasn't very long until I noticed that a lot of people were not only liking it, but sharing it. Yeah, hence the t-shirts and hoodies were born and all proceeds from the hoodies and shirts go to the Nampa Rescue Mission. And I'll put a link uh, if you want to order one or find out more. I'll put a link on my Facebook page to that order form and take a look at this. Even Idaho Senators Mike Crapo and Jim Risch are getting on board. Uh, Pastor Halbert recently met with them and uh, gave them their own snowpocalypse t-shirts. Oh, I got to get one. I know I need one. They're great. It is a good way to kind of commemorate what we went through, oh. you know, and it was hard and I don't think yeah. we're over it yet. I know no. a lot of people still frozen in. That's right. The snow that we have is not going anywhere for quite mm -hmm. some time, but really the big story for this morning is yes, the cold and what's on the ground, but also what's in the air. We have some very, very dense fog setting in right now across the valley. Take a look at this map. I have never seen this map read zero visibility, but that's what's happening right now in Caldwell it is super thick out there. Take your time. Do not turn on those high beams. Of course, it just reflects back to you. Visibility very poor in Mountain Home as well. Fog is thick there, but Ontario and Boise look to be clear. So this is what we call very patchy, dense fog. You'll drive in and out of it as you head from one end of the valley to the other. And look at these temperatures. Single digits for Ontario and Caldwell right now. 13 in Boise and 17 in Mountain Home. Overall today, another mostly sunny day. It'll look a lot nicer than it's going to feel. Hardly any precipitation at all across the entire Pacific Northwest through the rest of this Friday. High temperatures today show that bit of an inversion that is setting up. So we'll be at 19 this afternoon for Boise, 20 in Ontario, but McCall will hit 24 and Haley will see 27 with sunny skies today. All right, it's 509 right now. Up next this morning, FBI Director James Comey is under intense scrutiny. Could he have violated Justice Department policy during Hillary Clinton's email investigation? And still ahead, President Obama's emotional surprise that had Vice President Biden in tears. Download the Six on Your Side app with up to the minute information. You'll know when we know.
Welcome back everyone. In today's America, the nation's top law enforcement agency is under investigation. The Justice Department's Inspector General is looking into whether FBI Director James Comey broke department policy while investigating Hillary Clinton's emails. ABC's Janae Norman is in Washington with the latest. Investigating the investigator. This morning, FBI Director James Comey is under intense new scrutiny. They have discovered new emails. The Department of Justice asking whether Comey's announcement about reopening an investigation into Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server violated Justice Department policy. His statement about whether there was going to be an opening of an investigation, a closing of an investigation, I don't think was uh, fair, professional, or consistent with the policies of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Critics have maintained the move just 11 days before the election cost Clinton the presidency. It's pretty strange to put something like that out with such little information right before an election. Comey has said he made the tough call based on bad options while balancing the need for transparency. But just this week, Comey defaulting to longstanding policy when asked if the FBI is investigating whether President-elect Donald Trump's team had any contact with Russians during the campaign. I would never comment on investigations, whether we have one or not, in an open forum like this. You didn't say one way or another whether even there's an investigation underway. Correct. I don't. It, especially in a public forum, we never confirm or deny a pending investigation. The irony, I'm not, of, I'm not saying the irony of your making that statement here, I cannot uh, avoid. This is the president-elect continues launching an unprecedented attack on the FBI and the intelligence community. At the same time, Director Comey released a statement welcoming the inspector general's investigation, calling the IG professional and independent, and promising to fully cooperate. Janae Norman, ABC News, Washington. President Barack Obama is ending the long-standing wet foot, dry foot policy, according to two senior U.S. officials. The rule allows Cubans who arrive in the United States without a visa to become permanent residents within a year of arriving in the U.S. Immigrants from other nations have argued it's preferential treatment, and Havana has long argued the policy encourages Cubans to make dangerous trips to Florida. President Obama surprised Vice President Joe Biden with the Presidential Medal of Freedom yesterday. Biden thought he was only coming to an event to toast senior staff members. He said the honor was beyond what he deserved. Obama called Biden, quote, as good a man as God has ever created. He also praised his wife, children, and grandchildren. Mr. President, uh, um, this honor is, uh, is not only well beyond what I deserve, But it's a reflection of the extent and generosity of your spirit. I don't deserve this, but I know it came from the president's heart. During Obama's term as president, the Internet has seen almost never-ending memes of bromance jokes between him and Biden. Obama joked during yesterday's ceremony, this was everyone's last chance. This also gives the Internet one last chance to <laughs> talk about our bromance. A lot of jokes in yesterday's ceremony. We'll take a live look right now at downtown Boise. Some fog this morning. We'll check in with Rachel Garceau with a look at that forecast next. Good morning, Idaho.
Now, the On Your Side forecast with Rachel Garceau. Welcome back at 517 on Friday, the 13th of January, and it is starting off a little bit unlucky for folks in the Caldwell area and in Mountain Home because of thick fog. Even Nampa is seeing this thick fog as well. Areas like Star, I've heard, were socked in this morning too. So expect, expect this fog. fog. Look at visibility in Caldwell. This map is registering it down to zero, which means you will barely be able to see in front of you as you're driving. Take your time, turn those brights off, keep your normal headlights on, and a quarter mile of visibility in Mountain Home, so the fog is very thick there as well. We also expect fog up in the mountains today where it's very cold, negative six in McCall right now, 23 below in Stanley. We're only at 13 in Boise, but look at Ontario, two degrees for all of you in Ontario. It is a very cold start. A very clear start. We're going to have lots of sunshine once again today. You can see a few very high clouds drifting through, but that's about it to break up our sunshine. So still this flow out of the northwest is going to make us very chilly throughout the day today. And up in the mountains, it will actually be a little warmer. We have this temperature inversion that is coming into place. So look at the McCall forecast for the next several days. If you're a skier, Tamarack and Brundage will be beautiful. Same story with most of the ski resorts. The beautiful bluebird skies today, a high of 24. In McCall, 25 tomorrow with some cloud cover. And then to end the weekend on Sunday in McCall, temperatures will still stay in the mid-20s with some partly cloudy skies. So again, we're only going to be in the upper teens here, mid-20s up in the mountains. So not a lot warmer, but enough uh, to make for some very nice skiing. So here's our frigid conditions. We'll stay very cold through the weekend. Now the holiday on Monday will still be cold, but we start seeing some changes start to move in. There's a system that's going to sweep in, bringing moisture to us by Tuesday, most likely likely at this point in the form of more snow here in the valley. It'll be mostly rain across the Pacific Northwest. We could see some light accumulations throughout the day Tuesday. By Wednesday,